It's station building time! Woot! Woot! Welcome back to the DX Gamer Show. My name is Mike, and welcome to another episode of X4 Foundations. Man, I just wanted to go to town yesterday making episodes, but uh, I relaxed and uh, decided to kind of just let it, you know, let it go for a day. Because, like, I was just in the mood. I was like, man, I want to... I can't believe 50 minutes is already up. Holy crap, man. I want to play this. All right, so let's just get right to it, yeah? Let's let's just jump in and uh, start working on our station. Um, yeah. Let's see. What is it? Grand Exchange is the headquarters. This is, so go into the build plan. Yeah, I don't know. I always feel a little rusty for the first couple of minutes. And then this one was right next to the highway. And then we kind of just broke down and just bought a bunch of the uh, blueprints, which makes things eh, a little bit easier, a little bit more streamlined. All right, so we want to go with um, the module parts. So now we have the uh, vertical connector too, which was what I was after in the first attempt that I was going to build this. All right, so I want to kind of put this in the middle. Um, yeah, that's good middle. Now, anytime we can extend our our little green box here um, and just pay more for the license, and uh, this is right next to the highway, so if we build three stations, it's going to get a little expensive, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so this vertical part here... I'm going to go ahead and put one on the, the bottom, and then one on the top, and then <clears throat> we probably want to have a dock for larger ships, but we're just going to start off with, I think, the luxury dock. So this is, um, oh, this isn't all of them. Crap. Okay, so this is a smaller luxury dock. This has one medium and six small ships so there are other docks we'll have to get for now I guess our starting dock will be the luxury one medium six small that's okay it's not too big of a deal now what direction I think the highway is facing this direction so I kinda wanna snap this here but let me see if I can snap it and pull it out. Yeah, and then rotate it. And then snap it again. Yeah, we'll have it in this direction. So I think this is the direction of the highway. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, we should have a little bit of funds in here. Yep. So, what do we have? Uh, cash money wise. Do, 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 do. I don't actually know. Um, <clears throat> I think with every single station I build, I'm also going to put on um, solar arrays just to make that smooth and so my ships aren't wasting their time building uh, solar arrays. I don't know. I don't know how much money I have. I'm going to drop a mill in this thing. Um, let's go ahead and assign a builder. Oh, okay. We have 2.9 million. Alright, so let's back out. Wait a minute. Oh no, this isn't an Argon. I thought it was like, this is an Argon Prime. That's where we are located. Uh, we'll go ahead and use a Argon Builder. We'll hire him. Um, and we'll just, okay. Not enough resources to build the first module, blah 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 blah. Yeah, so we'll confirm this. Um, so that's gonna go, and then we'll go right back into the build plan, because <laughs> the, the, the first time I did this, I messed it up, but uh, now, now I know what's going on. Now I know what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and slap down another cross junction on the bottom. And I can see that our build plan is already starting to uh, not have quite enough room. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do do is we'll start with the solar arrays we'll just take a look uh, let's go ahead and scoot it around uh, it actually does not fit in our build plan which is fine we'll just 
get rid of it for a second? Or not? I thought you just right click on it to delete it. Does it have to be in? That's kind of silly. That needs to be patched too. So you, you can't right click on it unless it's in the green box. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we're going to go out of here. Let me confirm because I think it just added something. We're going to go back into the plot manager. Um, we can go into this plot. Okay, this is slightly skewed. I thought we had it like parallel to the the line there, but apparently we do not. And we're going to... So if I'm correct, our plot that we're trying to do, uh, the solar panels, should be in the... Uh, I don't know if it's XY. No, that wouldn't be right. Let's just see if we can find it. No. It'd be nice if you just drag it. There we go. Yeah. So I'm thinking... Like this? Um, building out... Okay, so we're going to buy... Wow, that costs another four, 428000 No bigs. No bigs. Now, if I'm right... It appears that I am... Um, we have exactly what I, I want, so that's good. Now we're going to snap down our first... Now does that reach? Is that too low? No, it's not. So we're going to snap in our first couple of... Oh, I actually meant to put a second one. There we go. What the heck? Why is it disappearing on me? Stop disappearing! Alright, so we're going to snap in two solar arrays. So we have our docks on the middle. And then... <clears throat> let's see. So... We're starting bottom tier, so production modules, we actually don't have much. But we do want to refine um, metals. So I believe metals... Let's just go to the encyclopedia. Uh, metals just uses energy cells and ore. So we're going to do something that we're not supposed to do technically because the game isn't working in that way. But because we have the mods, this should work. If it does not work, we're just going to take it down. Oops, I didn't mean to be back in this menu. So we're going to apply the refinery and the silicone system so that we can get uh, so that we can get baseline stuff so I consider that all baseline economy energy cells is the very bottom and then we'll move up to the next tier which is uh, refining ores so I would consider that gases ice um, you know, all ores, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and put another cross on the top. Now, technically, we could extend out our solar array, but I guess if we're going to extend out the solar array, we'll just go in the Z, Z direction or down um, if we need more power. So for now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some storage modules. Now, what I'm a little confused about is container versus solid I know what liquid is um, and I think gas goes in liquid so we're gonna do both container and solid on both directions now what's nice is they both kind of act as like little kind of bridgeways so we can put a container storage here we can put a solid storage on the other side and see how they just kind of bridge across. It just it makes it easy. And then you connect up your factories or whatever to these. And uh, it just makes kind of logical sense to me. Um, and then maybe we'll do... 
Um, since we're going to do liquid storage on this, probably we can do liquid storage, but we'll we'll just rotate it like this and snap it in this top one. Like so. Yeah. And then we'll have to extend out in different directions. Right now, I don't think I'm super worried about liquid storage. Um, and then let's go ahead and do um, bottom, bottom economy stuff here. So uh, we're going to do refined metals. And this is a top access thing which our thing does not have a top access thing and what's nice is we can kind of tuck this away so if we just put this here for now and we'll just grab some more connector parts this cross part is absolutely your best friend uh, when building stations because you can just extend these things out so this has a bottom connection port so we'll just connect it here now it looks like we have a problem with our our size so we'll take this down for now and maybe no we can't we can't flip it underneath what we could do is we could do another like small extension cross and tuck it underneath if we want to do that that would work just as well um it would keep our st station kind of clean as well i guess we could do that and then we could figure out later what we're going to do with these top parts. We technically could put the cro take the cross parts off, but uh, we might do multiple of each um, if we really want to get things cranking out. So, uh, yeah, our other option is to take cross parts and put one here and here. And then um, take this guy and only select them and rotate them like so and then get them on top that part now I want to see is that intersecting in any way with oh that's not oh that's okay that's okay that's okay um it's forward on our dock I was actually thinking more along the lines of taking these cross parts and putting them here and let me select it here and then taking this guy and snapping them on there okay that does not intersect and that's a little cleaner that's what I wanted um, I think it's slightly rotated though I can't quite tell um, let's see if we can line this up so if we select this guy and we can rotate him we can just kinda get him in the direction we want I mean it doesn't snap so you don't quite know okay that's not interfering with the dock in any way that's good alright and then let's go ahead and do so that is the refined metals let's do the silicone okay this one's a little bit different so I guess what I could do with this one is just plop it right on the top here. Now this does kind of interfere with uh, some of the other joints. So I'm inclined to kind of push it forward a bit. So maybe we'll do like a small uh, vertical no base oh we don't have the horizontal connections let's do this really don't like when this thing doesn't no okay where'd that even go dude okay there we go okay this is the the bad thing about the editor. Uh, the snapping is nice, but it uh, can get a little wonky. All right, so that is kind of what I was thinking. 
That way we don't block this this top connector if we want to extend uh, vertically. And then we can put a cross top. Like so. And uh, drop down the silicone. It'd be nice if we could rotate things like not only like uh, left and right, but like flip it up and down as well. Um, we might be able to do that, but yeah, I'm not sure. And you can see your station gets pretty crazy pretty quick, but uh, yeah, this is turning out all right. This is um, so. So what I would probably do. Uh, is this an extra one? Let's just delete that. So what I would probably do is uh, I would extend this out this this direction and put a second one. And then if I want another refinery, I'll just put it on the other side. Yeah? So that's working out pretty well. Let's go ahead and confirm this. This is probably stupid expensive. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check what our... Um, our build plan says all this costs seven million yeah and uh, let's go ahead and check our funds real quick uh, before we do that though let's let's not like let research get too far away from us so let's go ahead and research the next teleport um, range good choice I will begin right away all right so we'll let that do that now um, before I get to the comments, let's just make sure we got everything zipped up. So we have 2.9 million. I'll go ahead and put, I'll put 2 million into the the build for now. Get back my mouse. Thank you. So build plan. We'll put in uh, about 2 million. So 2.3 million. Okay, confirm that. Confirm changes, fine. Okay, and that's rocking. And then let's see, we have a Mercury Van Vanguard just kind of sitting. I want to see what's going on here. Okay, no, it's it's still doing its thing. Um, yeah, I think there was comments. Um, maybe letting me know about the location of the ship that we located uh, let's go ahead and get to some of the comments now I guess um, I did get a lot of comments from the same person so I'm not gonna read like every single comment they put um, I appreciate the help and all that but you know it's it's uh, sometimes a little excessive when you comment more than a couple times honestly okay um, Let's see, uh, crystal mining is not cheating. You still have to go out and find them, so uh, anything you have to work for is, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, it's not cheating. It's not cheating. Um, the, the thing, I wasn't referring to actual crystal mining being cheating, I was kind of referring to the mod that I was using being cheating, but um, I don't think it's really all that bad, honestly. It's It almost seems like it should be I don't know. I don't know if it should be in the vanilla game, but there should be a system to allow you to help find those things a little easier. And also the signals drives me freaking nuts. And what's going on with this guy over here? It looks like he's in a fight or something. Or is he just just going wonky? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, next comment. Uh, when your scanning leaks, you have a much higher chance of uh, to unlock blueprints if you're in your spacesuit. Oh no! Wah. <laughs> also, the blueprint you unlock is always the blueprint from the module it's on. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why um, I was trying to go for the low tier uh, places. Um, I only get out of my ship if there's a good chance I will get a blueprint from a module I don't have yet. Discount leaks give you a discount when buying from that station. Commission leaks give you extra money when you're selling to that station. Ah. Can be helpful to check if you're going to make a huge trade to a station. 
I'm enjoying the series. Keep them coming. That's good information there. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's good to know. So, kind of still worthwhile. I, I don't like the whole get out of your, your, your ship thing for a better chance of blueprints. I'd rather just pay for them because if we can crystal mine maybe, get a bunch of cash money, and then just buy them outright. Not to mention when we get our station started, we're, we're going to be making so much money. It's going to be stupid. So, um, that also goes with like, so some of you guys have mentioned about like getting free ships or whatever from exploration. Yeah, I'm not so concerned about that because we're already at the stage where we're just making a lot of money. And now that we're building stations, it's just going to get more crazy from this point. So, man, I keep I keep getting out of there. And your controller doesn't work for a second once you're... Uh... Hello there. Well, hello. Um, once you switch out to uh, the gamepad and the um, keyboard. Or the mouse. Yeah, it gets a little... That's why I'm like always staring at the ground there when... Uh... I'd rather be in my ship when I'm doing these kind of things. Alright. Um... I guess we can go over to our station maybe and just kind of... Kind of watch. Like what's going on. Do 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 do. Station's over here. There is our builder. Sweet. Maybe we'll go, uh... Nah, we won't hang out with the builder. I was thinking maybe we go hang out with the builder. Off we go. I thought we had... So there is another vertical junction part that is longer. I, I could have swore I bought all the... The parts off of, um... The, uh, representative for, um, the station, but I don't know, I guess I'm mistaken. Um, we can also go into SATA mode, um, which I forgot we had, and we can just kind of sit there and watch. And, uh, we'll probably collect money, or enough money, to keep building once things go. I mean, because it's not lightning fast the station being built so and then we'll probably either transfer uh, our ships or we'll just buy new ships we'll see we'll see what we're gonna do there um, last time in my last play I simply just transferred my ships but I might actually just keep my ships for that nice like flow of money and then, uh, we'll just buy new ships for the station. Okay, it's really hard to see. I want to get into a more lit area. Now, I don't know, and this is another thing you guys can probably let me know in the comments, but it was relevant in the older games. Uh, I don't know if the solar panels facing in not the same direction of the sun changes the time and their output. I'll know that as soon as they're running, actually. Um, I don't know if it'll hap happen this episode. I'll be able to answer my own question, essentially. Um, but I don't know if it's going to happen in this episode or if uh, we won't get to see that or not. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is a good view. Um... How much cash money do we have on us? We have 1.5 and uh, 1.2 in trades. I'll put another million down on the station. Uh, build plan. So 1.7. Good. Very good. All right, let's let's say to this mother. Let's say to this mother out. Okay, there's that other mod in effect. I believe it was white, and this is red, and I like it. Okay, uh, let's see. Where were we? 
Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, we just did the leak one. Okay, so from Richard. Um, the white ones are the most... Wait. The white ones are the most... They can get up to 300,000. Um, they are the rarest ones. Okay, it's so referring to the crystals from last episode. So I didn't know they can go up to 300,000. Looks like it was 250,000 for the max, but hey, if there's something worth 300,000, that's nuts. That's bonkers. Okay, let's see. Another one from Robert. Looking forward to seeing your builds. That will give me some ideas. Yes, sir. Um... I'm definitely not the authority on this, but, uh, I don't know, I get it done, you know what I mean? Um, it's not, I don't know, it seems fairly logical and straightforward, the building system. I really, really, really like the building system in this game. I love that you can make, like, mega complexes and all that. It's super sick. Alright, so, here is from Admiral Rob. He just, he just hit my, uh, last video with a ton of comments, so I'm not gonna read every single one. But uh, I'll get to a few of them. All right. So, well, in Faulty Logic Seven is a destroyer on the west side, but you will have a good old time trying to get that out uh, with this 1.5. Have fun. So I guess Logic Faulty Logic Seven is a uh, system where a destroyer is located, and uh, I assume that it's capturable. Which uh, was that's pretty cool. Um, I'll definitely look, look into that. Um, let's see uh, here. Well, well, we'll do like Admiral Rob, and then we'll do like another person's comment, and then we'll come back to Admiral Rob. Okay, I kind of miss your earlier edited content with music. The music you made, yeah. You know, I enjoy making music, but it. I don't know, I, I kind of like the way I do these Let's Plays too, just kind of like, just raw, uncut. Um, yeah, they're long, and you know, they're not for everybody, but like, if you just like raw gameplay, um, with me kind of just reacting to what's happening in the environment, um, this Let's Play is definitely for you. Uh, you'll like it a lot, because um, that's essentially what I'm doing. I was going to do a kind of cut up, edited kind of thing. Yeah, I decided not to. Um, it's a lot easier to do. I don't have to flip... Like, I use different editors for different types of editing. So, when I'm doing, like, a really, like, cut-up video, I use, like, a, a different editor. And then when I do just, like, a stream, it's just one long video clip that I just essentially just plop it down and put a couple pieces in there and we're done. Like, the intro, the exit, and I'm good. So, yeah. As for the music... Yeah, I haven't made a new track in quite a long time. Cool, solar panels going up. We have 1.3 million credits. We might stop SATA in a second to see how much cash um, we have left in the station. But I imagine um, we have quite a bit. We put we put a good amount in there. All right, another one from Admiral Ro uh, Admiral Rob. Um, you should show how to mod this. Uh, I think he's referring to some of the mods that I say I tweaked. Um, dude, it's so it's super, super, super easy. Uh, in most mods, there is a uh, file that kind of dictates what the mod does. Um, and it's usually a very simple thing to read. Just like, all you gotta do is poke around the files and, uh, yeah, it's easy to figure out. Um, I could do like a classic tutorial video and how I did that stuff but I don't know it's with all the updates and I don't know I mean eventually maybe we'll see we'll see um ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. next comment uh hey good to see your ex content back I have two Christmas hints for you first is that the wormhole from the HQ mission Links directly back and forth for the duration of the HQ missions. Um, I don't know if there is any more HQ missions, so I think that's not a thing anymore. Then they revert back to normal random exits. Okay, so they're random exits. That might be easy for like exploration. I might want to try that out. Second, you missed the free medium ship the rescue mission provides you. 
Yep, I did. I seem to be missing missing all these like free ships you guys are talking about. Um, if you hurry, you can capture it for the two enemy ships. If you're if you do not man it, it will not. Ha yeah, it's not functional, obviously. Uh, Merry Christmas. Take it easy. P.S. You can probably go fetch that medium ship at any time. Um, yeah, if it's something that my ship's found, I assume that, like, it's not something that's going to be going away anytime soon. I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get that sorted at some point. The thing I don't understand is, like, the, the whole, you know, my ship's found it, but they don't kind of stick around or whatever, and I, I can't seem to, there's nothing obvious to me on here that says, oh, hey, you got, uh, a ship that needs to be picked up because one of your traders found it. Um, I forgot to look at how much money I had. I think I got like 2 million. So I'm going to put 2.6 in here. Okay. And I guess let's go back into the... Uh, back into SATA. And let's see, any more comments on this video? Um, Admiral Rob, we'll do him for the last one. Yeah, he, he commented a lot on the last video. Um, I LOL'd when you going around to the station building mod. I did the same thing as you and didn't like it in the last game. What, what did you call it again? You know, the RE song. <laughs> um, no reason. Uh, no whatever you like. Like your videos, keep it up. Okay, I, I don't know. I butchered that comment. I butchered comments often. Um, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I can't stand that, man. Um, that's why I got that mod, because like, it's just... I, I just... I don't like it. It's like... I think Ego Soft was looking at it as it was like a, you know, a gamey type thing where you had to go around the stations and investigate and stuff. But it's just not as cool as I think they think that it is. It's just not. It's not fun. Like, I don't think it's fun gameplay. Um, and some of the old systems that they left out from previous games, um, some of those features are fun and they should be put back. Um, more control over your ships, like, I don't care to, I really don't care to have a station manager, you know? Like, I like manually controlling what my ships do. I like telling them what to do. And I think that they, 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 they purposefully program in sloppy AI until they level up to five stars to where they're efficient. You know, and I just don't like all that. I just, when I'm building the station, I want my trade ship to go do what I tell it exactly to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's fun. I think it it's a, it adds a lot to the gameplay. Um, so, like, I don't know if you, like, you have these sloppy captains and sloppy um, managers. I don't know if they just add time onto it or what, but I just don't like that at all. The older games... We're so much better. X1 um, with the extension mod, X2, X3, all better. All better in that regard because you had so much c control. And then I like the whole module system. Oh, someone's getting attacked. Someone is being attacked. Let's check on that. Uh Okay, this has an interesting symbol. I don't know what that means. Let's take a look at him. I don't know if he's being attacked or if he that's actually the mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. Are you right are, are you okay, buddy? Okay, you're back on the job, yeah? So it looks like the entourage came and saved my ship. 
Should looks like it has full shields and uh, full um, energy. All right, so let's or full ship and full hold. So let's go back. Um, we got one point nine eight four. We'll drop another million in our build plan here. Two. So we'll go from two to three. Okay, and then uh, if we just look out here, so it looks like we got two solar arrays done. That's probably cranking out energy cells. We can actually probably take a look. I don't know if it won't actually crank them out if we don't have a station manager on board. So let's 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 just see what's going on there. A uh, storage module, production modules, energy cells. Uh, production. Yeah, so I don't I don't know if production's actually happening. I think we need to look at the logical overview. Uh, so energy cells. Okay, those are oh that's good. It tells you it's a container type. So at least I made the right move on that because I was thinking that. Oh, this is also container type. So what is um. Okay, well, let's get a station manager on board our station. So let's pick out one of our ships that's been around for a nice long while. Uh, probably one of our drill ships. We'll go into its behavior. We'll stop its behavior. Okay, or that's okay. No, no, that's not okay because that's not one of the ships that's been around for a really long time. Okay, this guy. This guy has... Oh, Nividium. Alright, so we're going to go and change his order to... Um, fly and wait? Hold position? Dock and wait. So we're going to cancel this. And then we're going to send him to here. And then we're going to say dock at, dock, dock and wait. Okay, good. Those orders are pretty clear. We'll take um, one of the high level crew on that ship, which I believe it should have all high level crew at this point. And we'll transfer one over to be the station manager. So we got eight crew. Um, they're all specialists at this point. Full crew, service crew, specialist. Okay, so they're four stars. That's okay. They're not five stars. So you can see that um, the other mod kind of running. It's not super cheaty. We've been running for several hours, and um, none of them have five stars. So that's good. I think it's, it's set at about the right pace anyways. So... Yeah, I don't know. We're what? Three, four, five? I don't know how many hours. We're, we're like, we're deep down the rabbit hole at this point. Okay, so we got that rocking and rolling. And is that him right there? Because that's super fast. No, it's not. It's not. But, yeah, having having your station next to the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They move quick. Okay, that's that's him right hit right there. So that didn't take long at all. Magnifique. So we'll have them dock up. We'll transfer. And uh, then I believe the energy cells will start to produce because we have a station manager. And I believe that that service crewman will continue to gain experience. Because they're doing something, I believe that's the way it works. Um, normally, if a, a ship is docked and doing nothing, nothing happens. But I think we're good on this. So we'll just kind of wait for this guy to dock up. And another thing we could do is we can technically... Um, let me see. I think we can teleport 
on board. Yep. We can teleport on board and we can watch our ship land. Maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe? There it is. See, even though it's a medium class, that ain't no slouch. And then you get capital ships too, man. That's a big ship. We can actually run on board and, and check it out. That's why I just love. This game's so freaking rad, man. So we can... Uh, this stock should drop. Yep. Drops. And then the sides open up. We can get on board. And I think this ship might even have a dock. It might. Okay, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> this ship's too small for a dock. Ca our capitals have a dock, and then my uh, my two pilot, my pilot, and my crewmen, and then uh, I think we can go ahead and just pop in the map, and then uh, shoot. We gotta um, figure out which ones. Uh, da -da 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 this guy, right? No, it's Mercury. It's a drill ship. Oh, here we go. This guy. All right. Info. We got to do the whole cumbersome crew thing again. So crew. Full crew. Service. Specialist. Uh, who you want? Ran? All right, buddy. We're going to... Oh, wait. We don't want to promote you to captain. Oh, do we have to... Can only a captain become a, a station manager? Can I help? Um... Confirmed. There we go. <laughs> See, it can get a little confusing because you don't know, like, all that's going on. All right, so now we can go ahead and uh, go back to this drill. Go back to personality. Tell it to go back to do what it was doing. Wait a second. Dock and wait. Auto mine. Beggars are operating on this factory. Wait a second, default behavior was dock and wait, so why is it... Default behavior is auto mine, so if we cancel this... Well, let me get off the freaking pad. <laughs> let me get off the pad. Um, you, info, so you're set to auto mine, um, inactive orders below, so if we cancel this order, I'll wait for you to tell me to take off, oh, you, okay, Um, proceed with current order. Haha, <laughs> so cool. So cool. I love it. I love it. Okay, so that guy's off going back to uh, mining. We got a station manager. And now we should be able to double check to see if our station is actually uh, producing energy cells. Energy cell production. Please remember to return your depleted energy cells to the recycling compound. Okay, I don't I don't know if storage module. 
Oh, it may not be able to build the uh, uh, energy cells until the storage modules are finished. And uh, the storage modules aren't finished. Alright, let's teleport back to our ship. Alright. Hello there. Hey, what's up, boss? Okay, yeah, the energy cells aren't going to be able to run, or the energy cell facilities aren't going to be able to run until uh, those storage modules are produced. So uh, We needed a station manager anyway, so we got that done. That's rocking and rolling. And um, let's go ahead. We'll check on. We have 1.3 million. Um, let's go ahead and drop another uh, a million inside of our station. So... So bring this to four. Okay, we're almost there as far as resources needed. And then let's take a look. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to scroll on here, not on here. Um, so energy cell production. Okay, so the container storage gets done after the next cross. And then solid storage, liquid storage. I don't know if we actually needed that solid storage. I just don't know what the solid storage is. Can we can we encyclopedia that and see what resources use the the solid storage? Encyclopedia. Storage type, solid, yeah. Okay, resources need to construct. Yeah, but what type of resources go in there? Um, I might have to look that up. Whatever's, man. Whatever's. Um, so... Wait, so wouldn't it be raw? It would be raw. Raw ore. Raw silicone. Raw ice goes into the solid, right? That's what it is. And then the 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 other products get put out into the container storage. So um, refined metal, silicone wafers, ice, well that goes in the liquid storage. Um, yeah. You get you get what I mean. Cancel. 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 Okay. So uh, we're done here for today. Um Unfortunately, it all goes so fast. Thanks for watching. Got our station started. Woohoo. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, yeah? Have a great day and take care.